Hey everyone, this is Two Sheep One Wheat. I'm Chrissy. Today's video is an overview and a review on a Kickstarter game for you called Plant Based Riot. Let's get to it. Video. Why can't I get that? No. I'm gonna redo that. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to Bubblegum Stuff who did send me this prototype copy to make this video for you. Their game, Plant Based Riot, is on Kickstarter right now. I'll be sure to link everything down below so that you can take a look at it. So Plant Based Riot is for two to five players and you are basically trying to overthrow the cartel. <laughs> so every player is dealt five cards. You get one card to peek into the cartel, you get to look at it, the kernels. Perfect. Make a mental note of what this is. You re, that was a sweet move. You reshuffle all of these cards and the next person gets to take a peek at one cartel card as well. And as soon as everybody has done that, then the game begins. So at the beginning of your turn, you're gonna draw two cards and each player gets three actions to use. Now actions consist of playing a gang card or you can play a protection card. Now this says that you can protect any gang from one to three cards. A full gang is three cards. So that would be a second action. A third action would be playing an action card. Now this will allow you to steal any full gang from any other player as long as they are not protected or protected, I should say. So you continue playing the game until you think that you have at least two completed gangs that you think are in the cartel. So we're going to try to overthrow the cartel. Once you have those two gangs in your turf, we're going to start a turf war. So we have three completed gangs right here, three cards each, one with a wild, one with this type of wild, and one that we know is in the cartel because we got to take a peek at it at the beginning. So I protected it to make sure nobody could steal it. So now we're gonna go ahead and yell turf war and see which gangs are in the cartel. We're gonna go ahead and take the cartel cards and we're gonna flip them over and we're going to see which cards are in the cartel that we have in our turf. So I was hoping for tomatoes to be in there, but they're not, and neither are beets. Hmm, but I do see that the peas are in here. We don't have any spudniks or tear jerkers. So now we did not get any of the gangs other than the corn and you need at least two to win the game. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put the cartel back and we're gonna try again. Now let's just say that there were two of our gangs in the cartel and we completed the turf war and won. That's how you win. As long as you have two gangs that are in the cartel, you win the game. Now this game is very easy. It's just a card game for two to five players. It is very easy and it is very fun. You're starting turf wars. You have all of these action cards that will allow you to stop a player from using an action on you. There is this sneaky leaky card in here and this one will actually let you take a look at all of the cards in the cartel. You can spin all the turfs player, um, one player to the left or to the right. You can steal a gang from anybody as long as they're not protected. These protection cards come in handy. This one allows you to swap a card from a turf with another player's. This one allows you to draw two cards. This one, all players have to give you one card from their turf. This one allows you to draw three cards from the deck, keep one, and insert the two at random. This one allows you to swap a card from your turf with another player's. And this one allows you to steal any of the following as long as they are not protected. Here are all the cards that you can have in the deck. You have the Broccoli Brutes. You have the Karate Kids. You have Egg Spendables, Eggplants. The Tear Jerkers. The Hip Peas. You have the Shroom of Doom, E equals Mushroom Square. You have the Spudniks, Bake No Prisoners, the Tommy Splats, Pasta La Vista, baby. You have the Colonels, and you have the Beatboxers. They're the root to all evil. 
So after playing this game a couple of times and really looking at the artwork, I thought the cards were really cute, you know, all the different artwork for all of these vegetables. But I did notice something within these cards and I'll show you. So the beatboxers are using the peas as a punching bag and the peas are protesting the beets. The eggplants are throwing the corn out of a slingshot. The kernels are throwing the eggplant out of like a bazooka or a cannon. The tear jerkers, the onions, are stomping on the tomatoes. And if you look at the tomatoes on the Tommy splats, there is a crime scene of the onions back here. Then you have the spudniks who are launching the carrot like a rocket. <laughs> And the karate kids, the carrots are using, they're like, <laughs> they have french fries. They made the potatoes into french fries and now they're breaking them. <laughs> and then the shroom of doom, the broccoli in the back got electrocuted. And on the broccolis, they're using the mushrooms as weights. <laughs> so I definitely, like the artwork on these cards, are very nifty. They, they utilize them really well and it took me a little bit to actually notice what was going on here and I feel like it made the game that much better. And you can tell which wilds go with which because of that too. So the mushrooms and the broccoli and the carrots with the spudniks, the corn and the eggplants, the beets and the peas, and then the crime scene over here with the uh, tearjerkers. So you kind of know what um, wild cards go with which just because of which ones are on the cards for them, which I just thought was so neat. And the whole thing with this game is pretty neat too, like using the vegetables, you know, it's a plant-based riot. You're using the cart, a shopping cart, right? like a cartel. The whole thing is just very clever. This whole game is very, very clever and I've enjoyed it every single time that I've played. I really love everything about it. I love a good card game for sure. So this game, it does, it does play really, really well. Drawing the two cards and playing down your cards and all the action cards that will allow you to like steal a card or you can stop a card. There's definitely just as many um, action cards as there are just regular cards like this. So it kind of stuffs up your deck a little bit. So it's a little bit harder for you to build up your, uh, your gangs, putting your gangs down on your turf. And there's that one card in there, the sneaky leaky, which is funny to say and definitely gives you a heads up in the game. But that card that allows you to swap all of the turfs one player left or one player right, that one definitely comes in handy if you can get a hold of that one card because there is just one in the deck. If you can get a hand on that one, you would want to use that towards the end. But Honestly, this game was really, really fun. Like everything about it is just, you know, fun. Like the box artwork is fun. The cards are fun. Everything is just a real fun time. If you can play this game at five players, I bet you you're gonna have a whole bunch of laughs. A whole bunch of laughs. So if you're looking into card games, if you enjoy card games, if you enjoy like stealing cards or like protecting and gangs and stuff, like it's so much fun. This game is on Kickstarter. Be sure to hit that link down below and check it out. I'm sure that you won't be disappointed. So again, if you enjoy card games, if you enjoy, I don't know, vegetables, <laughs> a fun time playing with people, card games, this is definitely a game for you and be sure to check it out. I will catch you next video. Wait, what? What is happening? What is happening? I don't understand this.